Welcome back! In this tutorial, I'm going to demonstrate how MP3 Tag Express can fix up track numbers. And so here we've got some tracks that are completely out of order, and proper track ordering is paramount to proper sorting in your playback device. So for these, I'm going to block them, I'm going to go up to Number, and I'm going to Sort Selected Tracks by Number. And what that'll do is that'll put these in the correct order. Now to ensure they stay that way, I'm going to also prefix the file name with the track number. And now if I reload these files, as you will see, they all end up in the correct order. Now these don't even have track numbers, and we, wa we want them. So let's go ahead and let's block those, go up to number, and we will renumber the tracks in order. Now keep in mind, if you've got, uh, like I know that these are in fact in the correct order because the file name is prefixed with a track number. Now if you get ones that are out of order, you can manually put these in their right order by just simply dragging and dropping them. So with that said, let's go ahead and block these. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to renumber tracks in order. And now they have track numbers. Now the other thing we might want to also do is we'll also want to prefix the track title with a track number, just in case our playback device relies on the track title being numbered. And that's that. Now in the case of something like audiobooks, Things can be a little bit different because you're dealing with sometimes uh, multiple folders uh, for the disks that contain their own little sets of numbered files. And when you end up putting these on a playback device, well, there's a chance that you're going to end up with, um, you know, in this case it would be this track followed by this track followed by this track and so on and so forth because it's sorting them by file name even though we do in fact have a track number that ranges from 1 to upwards of, of 82. Now the thing to keep in mind with this also is that if you're dealing with a few hundred files in an audiobook collection, MP3 Tag Express will pad out this track number with the appropriate number of zeros and that ensures that the tracks are always going to be in the correct order. So now what we've got going on here is we've got, uh, for some reason, uh, the way this loaded, we've got disk 7, disk 8, and then disk 1. We want to put these all in the correct order. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the options, and I'm going to disable this feature right here, which is show folders and tagging list. That's these guys, these gray bars. Those are your separators for the different folders. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. I'm going to reload the whole works and those are gone, and now I'm going to use the album name to sort. And now as you can see, these are all in a consistent order. But what we want to do is we want to change this over here, because again, we got this thing going on with... If I was to sort these by file name, you can see what happens. It's a real mess. Those will never end up in the, in the correct order. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to simply block all these, or select them all, and I'm going to use something that's a little bit off topic, but we're going to use it here, and it's the bulk file rename feature. And for this, it, you can see it says 82 files selected. What we're going to do is we're going to clear this out, and we're going to put in Michel Thomas French. Give it a whole new name. And we have an option of either prefixing the files with a with a number or a pending and in here you have an option of putting in a mask however big you want that and again that's the padding with the zeros now in this case you have control over that but we're going to just go with two because there's only 82 files in the collection and we're going to go ahead and we're going to go OK and as you can see that consistently named all the files with the correct track number in front and what that'll do is that'll guarantee a perfect sort order on the playback device. And you can see as well here, we've still got our original album, so we can know what disk we're on, but the rest of it is properly sorted. 
In my next tutorial, I'm going to be talking about copying and pasting tags between files. Thank you for watching.